the countdown is on for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's royal wedding. This event is something the British public and royal watchers have been waiting for since Harry's brother, Prince William, married Kate Middleton seven years ago. Ever since Harry and Markle announced their engagement in November, they have become the most talked about couple in the UK and around the world, so it's no surprise that everyone wants to see their royal wedding. Invitations to the affair were sent out in March, but if you weren't one of the lucky 600 people to find an invite in your mailbox don't worry, we have you covered with all the details of how you can still see their big day. With a huge global audience expected to tune in, We'll all be wondering if the royal it couple can bring in more viewers than Harry's parents and brother did. Harry and Markle's wedding may top Prince William and Kate Middleton's nuptials in viewers. When William and Middleton tied the knot at Westminster Abbey on April 29, 2011, they did so in front of millions around the world. The exact figures of how many people actually tuned in to see their wedding has been debated because it broadcast in over 180 countries some of which do not even have TV ratings like Indonesia, Bangladesh, and Nigeria, but it was also streamed by millions, with 72 million streams, the wedding made the 2012 Guinness Book of World Records for most live streams for a single event. As for the television audience, most estimates put the number of viewers in just the United States alone at around 23 million. We think those numbers in the US may be even higher when the former Suits star and Harry say their vows since Markle is an American herself, Harry's uncle, Prince Andrew, and his ex-wife, Sarah Fergie Ferguson, were also married at Westminster Abbey, and their nuptials took place in front of a huge TV audience. An estimated 500 million tuned in to see the Duke and Duchess of York say I do in 1986 while thousands more lined the streets to catch a glimpse of the pair in person. Another wedding that raked in large numbers was when Princess Diana married the future King of England, Prince Charles, in what was dubbed the wedding of the century back in 1981. Numbers for this royal affair drew a global audience of a whopping 750 million. Prince Harry and Markle will marry in Street George's Chapel at Windsor Castle in front of about 600 guests, but they are also expected to draw millions of viewers from all over the world. The couple's ceremony will be televised Saturday, May 19, 2018, on several broadcast and cable stations with a start time of 7 a.m. EST and 12 p.m. GMT. Of course, you'll be able to stream it online as well. The wedding mass will last one hour with the Dean of Windsor conducting the service and Archbishop of Canterbury officiating it. In February, the palace announced that the couple will take a carriage ride through Windsor town following the ceremony, so that they can wave to any well wishers who made the trip to see them. We should point out that many people are happy that this royal wedding will televised because not all of them are. Sure, we had to expect that Williams was going to be since he is the future king, but Harry's wasn't exactly set in stone just because he's related to the Queen. Queen Elizabeth II's youngest son, Prince Edward decided he did not want his wedding to Sophie Rhys Jones televised in 1999, and so his request was met, we won't be able to see Princess Eugenie wed Jack Brooksbank. Sorry, Princess Eugenie fans and royal wedding fans in general, Prince Andrew and Fergie's youngest daughter's special day likely won't broadcast on TV even if she wanted it to. Eugenie's union to Jack Brooksbank will not air on television because of her place in the line of succession to the British throne and also because she is not as well known as her cousin. However, some bits of the princess nuptials on October 12, 2018 may be shown in nightly news reports post her daytime ceremony.